What up, it's your girl Mina. In this video, we are going to be trying out two of the Elf Cosmetics new bronzers, the cream bronzers, okay? Like I said, I'm gonna do my face up into the cream bronzer and then we'll talk about it. I got two colors, two of the three darkest shades. We are gonna see what it's talking about, okay? All right, now we reach the point where we are going to contour the face. Okay, let's go. Now I'm going to start with lightest to darkest just in case the lightest one isn't dark enough. Okay, this is the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer in the color Sunkissed. One thing I do not like about these products from e.l.f. I can speak to the putty eye primer, the putty face primer, and now this one is that the actual product does not have the name on it. Oh, they did change it. Okay, I stand corrected, it's right there. I was expecting the name to be at the bottom. It's on the side, that is new. If you shop e.l.f., you know that they normally don't have the name, so that is new. That's good, all right, I stand corrected. I like to, I used to use a sponge to apply my, my contour. I honestly could just still go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and do that. I like to use a sponge, although I also like to use a brush. I'll use a sponge today because, no, no, I can't. You know why? Because I use the back of my sponge to apply my liquid highlighter. So I need it to be clean and I don't feel like using two sponges. That's too much work. So here we go. All right, this is this 456 brush. Obviously either way works. This is looking actually dark. This is looking dark. I'm not gonna need this purple cabana because this joint is plum. It's the color of plum, like why? All right, let's see. Taking somebody's on this brush. Yeah. My subtle contour. This is looking like a contour on me. I do see a little bit of warmth, but I like it as a contour. I'm enjoying this color so far. Okay, this is really soft. I could definitely go to the next one that I did not get. Oh, I'm irritated. That's the one I should've got. I'ma get it though, $6, you can't beat that. I'ma order the second one. Just to have it as an option, you know, because the very last deepest one, the one that is plum, like the the color that was really popular at MAC, what's that purple color called, Rebel? It's literally looking like Rebel. I am putting it on my face. Now that I have it though, what could I use it for? I could use it as an eyeshadow base if I'm doing a dark purple smoky eye. I could use that. This is really soft on me. If I'm going for a soft contour, this is it now. But I do see the warmth, so it's a bronzer. Yeah, it's a bronzer. Now with this, what I do see myself doing, which is what I will do today, is I will use a contour on top of this. Because this isn't so dark, I'll use Thick Mint on top to deepen it. However, if you wanted something light, you totally could just do this and call it a night. See, I'm taking the leftover on the brush for my nose, and even that looks nice and soft and gorge. And they might be thinking, well, just put the Cabana Cutie on your face. Girl, it's purple. It's legit purple, like a purple lipstick. And maybe this shows up really nicely on the deepest of skin. I don't fit that category. So for me, it's gonna look crazy. It's gonna look like blush. And I don't wear deep blush like this because it's too dark. So I would love to see someone really, really deep review that color and see how it looks on them. But for me, it ain't gonna work out. All right, so here is the bronze. This is really soft, like almost undetectable. It almost looks like all I did was highlight. Do you understand? And then this is what it looks like. Although I did go in in bronze. I like it. Comment below and let me know what you think about this. And I'm gonna finish blending everything out and then finish my face. I am gonna put on Thick Mint, like I said, from Fenty Beauty. We're gonna see how that layers on it after I set my face and all that. So let's do that.
let me just point out that it's very clear that I did not rub in my primer right here because I'm seeing a line on my face. <laughs> Yeah, so, <laughs> but we've come this far. There's no way I'm going back. So I just want to point that out. I do see it. I, I have noted that for next time. Yo, the Becca Ever Matte Flawless Primer, it, you know, it does the job. It doesn't keep me all the way matte, but it does a good enough job. It's just, if you don't blend it well, you're going to have stuff like this. So take note. Well, let's continue. All right, here's the finished look. What do you think about the bronzer? I did add thickness to it. We talked about that, but I want you to comment below and let me know what you think about this look. I'm not a fan of this Sigma palette only because the green wasn't what I thought. It's looking very blue black. It just wasn't what I wanted, but I made it work, so it was okay. Let me know what you think about this video, about this look, about this ponytail. All of it is going to be linked below. You already know I got you. Thanks for watching. And as always, make sure you subscribe. Bye. Thank you.